on the job where I use the underfloor heating manifold on the radiators, a lot of people asked why I didn't need to use the an, another pump. Why didn't I use the pump on the actual manifold? Now, the reason I didn't use it is because the pump one, the boiler, is more than sufficient enough to provide heat to these radiators. Because what you've got to remember is the pump on the manifold, when you have a pump on a manifold, that is used when you use the manifold for underflow heating. Because when you use it for underflow heating, underflow heating can have up to 100 meters of 16 mm pipe going up, down, up, down, up, down. And that's one circuit, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these, yeah? So maybe up to 500 meters, six, 700 meters of just 15, 16 mm pipe going up and down, up and down. That's a lot of resistance. That's why you need that pump on the manifold. Now, I wasn't using the manifold for underflow heating. I was using it for radiators. All I was using it was to separate my radiator circuit. And because of that, the pump within the boiler was more than sufficient enough to heat up the radiators. Hope that helps.